sponsored by Capitech. There's something about transacting at an ATM for many people across the country. For millions of people, there's a sense of security in paying for an item with cash withdrawn at an ATM or depositing money to a friend or family member with the knowledge or the comfort that they will receive it immediately. The truth is, banking apps have not completely penetrated the market. They work in conjunction with traditional banking models. Now, scammers know this and hover at ATMs, offering assistance to consumers only to gain access to their accounts. How do they protect themselves? To answer this and more, I'm joined by Rihanna Stain, who's the Deputy Ombudsman at the Credit Ombud. Rihanna, thank you very much for your time. Maybe just start by explaining to us what exactly is ATM fraud? So it is a bank customer that falls victim to fraud at an ATM. And most of the time, most of the cases that we investigate, it turns out to be a card swapping situation. So the fraudsters, they are very, very skilled. They probably had something that they pushed into the ATM. And now the person is trying to, to uh, do a transaction and they don't cover up their, their PIN. So they stand there and clearly put in their PIN. Then the customer will be distracted in some way with some person talking to them, a commotion, somebody behind them. And in that process, the, the fraudster quickly grabs the card out of the machine and they've seen the PIN. And they rush off to the next ATM and they withdraw all the person's money that is available in that card. Um, but when we investigate these things and the bank can give us the recons, as sometimes video footage, not always, um, it's clear what happened. Because you can also see that that card with the PIN was then used within minutes at another ATM. What do consumers do then when they do need assistance at an ATM, but don't want to find themselves getting scammed? If you need assistance in order to operate the machine and there's a problem, rather cancel, take your card out, go into a bank. But if you realize something went wrong, quickly phone the bank because we actually, when we investigate, we look at the seconds. At like exact what second did your call go through to the bank to stop your card and to warn them. And then from that moment onwards, any what transactions that's happened after that, the bank will must refund you because you told them there's a problem. What are the signs for us to tell that an ATM has been tampered with? If, if your card doesn't really want to go in smoothly, you know, that's, that's one maybe warning sign uh, because they pushed something in there. Uh, another thing is that I think people must be very wary of their surroundings, of people hanging around, um, because remember, they, they're going to distract you. Rihanna, thank you very much for your time. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Online banking or transacting may seem intimidating for many. Apps are developed and updated constantly, and so sometimes it's just better to stick to what you know and make the trip to an ATM. But think about this. Not only will queues be long during the festive season, but criminals masquerading as good Samaritans, lingering around, waiting for anyone who needs assistance. Be aware of your surroundings as you make use of ATMs. Until next time, take care. With festive season around the corner, be aware of ATM scams. Today, I'm hearing from Nolene about her experience with ATM fraud. Nolene, tell me what happened. I went to the ATM to draw money and someone came and helped me and left again and I tried drawing the money and uh, afterwards I just saw uh, mounts coming off my phone. Nolene, I'm sorry that you experienced that, but now we know that while you're using the ATM, don't accept help from strangers. Always be careful with your PIN and your card. Don't let anyone interfere with your transaction and always cover the PIN pad while you enter your PIN number. Slam the scam, Mzansi. Don't be a victim of ATM fraud. Share this information with your community and your loved ones to keep them safe. Sponsored by Capitech.